My next guest is a multi-award winning magician. He's performed all over the world. You've seen him on things like Masters of Illusion and Penn and Teller Fool Us. He's taking magic into the future with some cutting edge technology from iPads and drones to virtual reality. I can't wait, and I know you can't either. Would you welcome digital illusionist Keelan Laser? Thank you for that lovely intro. It is an honor to be here. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching someone how you can take a traditional mind-reading experiment and utilizing technology, bring it bang up to date. Before this, I need my student to be suave, sophisticated, and because we have to look you on the screen, someone who is impeccably well-dressed. Unfortunately, we couldn't find anyone who fits that description. <laughs> so we're gonna have to settle for Trey. <laughs> Trey, you're gonna go uh... on a journey, my friend, a mind-reading journey to read the mind of the lovely Laurie. Ooh. Have you ever wanted to read Laurie's mind before? No. No. <laughs> I thought you were going to say every day, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's going to be very easy, Laurie. We have 52 different cards. All I need you to do, Laurie, is to choose one of these. The way you're going to do that is just by pointing to any one. So you can see they're all different. I just want you to point to the back of any one that you like. Just point to the back of any one you like. Which one would you like? That one right there. Take it out for me. Let's have a look. Take it out. Keep it towards yourself. Do not show me. Do not show Trey. Trey, I want you to take the palms of your hands like this. Cover over your eye sockets like this, trapping out all light entering your eyes. I'm gonna be doing the same. When I cover my eyes, I want you to show everyone at home, show the audience, and make sure that you all see it and you all remember it. Is that done? Is the card now hidden away, Laurie? Is it safe for us to open our eyes? Yes. It is. Trey, you can open your eyes. This is my wife, Angela, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. But Trey, I'm gonna start you off. Okay. I'm gonna draw a pack of cards on this uh, device. Now, I've been doing card tricks since a very early age, since I was four years old. Probably explains why I didn't get my first girlfriend <laughs> until I was 28. <laughs> I'm only kidding, I was 32. <laughs> you appreciate that trade, don't you? Yes. <laughs> now, I have drawn a blank deck of cards in it. I need you to fill in the, the deck. Okay. We're gonna do that, you're just gonna Touch the screen, you're gonna move your finger around the deck okay. to draw a playing card. Keep it towards yourself, just tap the screen, move the finger around the deck to draw. And while he's doing that, I want you to think of your card over and over in your mind. Keep thinking of your card. Sending the thoughts to Trey, sending the thoughts to Trey. Trey, yes or no, is there a card on your device? Yes, there okay, is. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. The Queen of Hearts, yes or no, did Trey get it right? The Queen of Hearts. It really isn't? Trey got it wrong. Ugh. No surprise there. It's Trey, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Fantastic musician. <laughs> Terrible magician. <laughs> it's not your fault, fault, Trey. It's my fault. I should use the governor. <laughs> but it's okay, Trey. We can work this out. I'm going to draw a quick sketch of you, Trey. And I'm going to draw a quick sketch of you, Laurie. So, Laurie, if you look at me. Trey, you can look what you like. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me finish, finish it off. Okay, we have Trey. And we have Laurie. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Trey looks pleased. Perfect. Laurie, not so pleased. <laughs> Trey, you are going to go on a Mission Impossible journey to find Laurie's selected card. So we have Trey, we have Laurie, we have a pack of cards. All we need now is some dramatic music. Let's take it away.
So, when did you start doing all this stuff? I've been doing magic since I was four years old. Wow. I saw a magician called Lance Burton, who's from uh -huh. Las Vegas, on a TV show called Night Ride. I got bitten by the bug and been doing it ever since. I bet you've got another trick for us. I do, I You do. better have. We're expecting I another do, one. I do. As okay. you can probably tell, I'm British. I've been in... Uh, I thought you... That sounded like an Alabama accent uh, that's to me. Right. I, I, thought, thought, I thought, I thought, I thought yeah. that might be because some confusion, so I thought I'd clear that up. Uh, one thing I do miss from the UK is my, my family, my, especially my niece and nephew, Aidan and Kira. Uh, Kira's three, Aidan's five. And Aidan, specifically, he started to get into magic the same age as I started. Uh -huh. And he's actually obsessed with three things. He's obsessed with The Huckabee Show. He watches the jukebox and all the magicians and acrobats and uh, ventriloquists you have on the show. He watches that on a, on a, every time, like, I go over it whenever time I see him. He's on uh -huh. the internet watching that. He's obsessed with sports. One particular sport is more than all the others, and he's also obsessed with magic. So I thought I'd combine the three today. Now, I did say he's obsessed with this show, and he's actually drawn you a picture. That's the picture there. I've got it for you. He would be so excited if you could pop this onto your fridge. He's done, he spent, he spent ages on this. He spent a couple of hours on this. This is for you. Sure. From Aiden, and he's just gonna be so excited. I about love it. You. And there he's, he's colored within the lines. Beautiful indeed. Now, I said Aiden's also obsessed with sports. I thought I'd combine his love of magic and love of sports together. So I thought we'd try this kind of mind reading experiment out. Now, if I was okay. to ask you to name a sport, the chances are you would all name the same type of sport. It's probably your favorite sports, and there's some sports that are more popular than others. So to make this completely random, I've written a list of 52 different sports you can yes. see up there as well. Okay. And I have written on the back of 52 playing cards. I've taken out the jokers because we didn't need those. You know, we've got Trey. <laughs> so <laughs> each card uh, has a number on the back of it. So 52 numbers, 52 cards. And I, for example, just give me any odd number between 1 and 52. 13. 13. So yeah. as an example, 13 would have been lacrosse. lacrosse. We're going we're gonna to eliminate number 13 because okay. we don't want that. Okay. Now just give me an even number as an example. An even number. Um, let's do 40. 40, we're gonna look for 40. Now, uh, and 40 is? Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Now, I saw you looking, there's number 40, we're gonna get uh -huh. that. I saw you looking at the sports and then choosing the number. So you're probably influenced to choose those numbers because you like Taekwondo, for instance. So, to make this completely random, okay. I want you to, and this is the one we're gonna use, I want you to name a playing card, and then we're going to use the numbers on the back of those cards. Okay. So not these two, because we know we've eliminated those. So not the Jack of Hearts or the Seven of Spades. We're eliminating those. I want you to choose any playing card from the 50 that's left. Let's do the uh, Jack of Spades. The Jack of Spades. Yeah. The Jack of Spades. If you see the Jack of Spades, do shout out at me, because I have a concentration span of a goldfish. So there we go. The Jack of Spades right there. Okay. Take that out right. and let us know what numbers on the back of that 27. 27, and 27 is? Tennis. Tennis. Now, I did say Aiden is more obsessed with one sport more than all the others, and we took a photo of Aiden with his sport, and it's on the, it's on the next slide. I'm gonna show you. Aiden happens to be obsessed with tennis. Now, I know what you're thinking. I have 52 different photos of Aiden with different sports. What I find really fascinating about this particular photo this particular photo, you can just reach in there, just pop it straight out into reality. <laughs> <laughs> but not only that, not only that, I don't think we gave Aiden, you all kind of went, ah, oh, when you saw his picture, I don't think we gave Aiden enough credit for his work of art. Because if you fold Aiden's work of art here, and you fold it up here, you find you have a perfect tennis ball with a number 27 <laughs> written on it, Aiden. <laughs> but not only that, not only that, these were your choices, Governor. These weren't choices that were influenced by myself. These were your choices. They were. They yeah. were. 
the Jack of Hearts, the Seven of Spades, and card 27. Just hold that up for me, just like okay. that. Okay, all right. See, my sister Shida gave me a T-shirt at Christmas that I thought I had to wear for today because Aidan had a premonition that there would be three <laughs> cards no chosen. No way. And it happens to be printed on this T-shirt. It had to be the Jack of Hearts, the Seven of Spades, and card 27. And that is why I think Aiden's going to grow up to be the greatest mind reader on the planet. I think he will. That is crazy. Thank you. Wow. Our thanks Thank to you. the amazing Keelan Laser. And if you want to see more of the incredible digital illusions, and I bet you do, or if you want to follow him on social media, go to our high-tech site. May not be quite as high-tech as what he's doing, but go to Huckabee.tv. We have a lot more information I am standing here amazed.